and welcome to From Scotland with Love. Today we're talking about what's in this mysterious box in here. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't an unboxing, which I do normally like to do, but uh, I got a little bit excited and then opened it up until my father was just like, you know what, I can I maybe, you know, put it all together. And I was going to, and then I was going to re kind of put it back together, but then I couldn't be bothered because, as the title suggests, I now own... <laughs> Da, da, da. The Spectre Day of the Dead mask. Here it is. Here, I'm just going to bring it up without. Here we go, it doesn't fall. So, uh, yes, I was very excited when I, I finally uh, got this. So, it comes with, you've obviously got the actual uh, helmet mask. Helmet mask itself, which obviously it comes off. We see there. Um, I'm going to say it right now, it is some way you can try it on. Um, in the back, it has. These straps are going to hold on to the back, as well as, which I'm very used to, which I was quite surprised with, it is generally looks like it's it's holders for glasses, so it's like, okay. Uh, so I'll just put that there, please don't break. Oh god, I'm so, I'm so nervous holding this thing. So, um, obviously it comes with an actual stand, as you see here, and it kind of has little kind of bits on the side here, and then kind of the overall shape to fit the said mask. Uh, now, if you this is from Factory Entertainment, and if you've got from them before. Uh, I've had a couple of things from them. I got the golden eye, I got the men in black uh, gun I got from them. Uh, so you always get like a little kind of metal uh, kind of bit that you, you see and my number is 169 out of 500 so that's not too bad. Um, I would have loved a 500 one, that'd be nice. So on the metal kind of showcase here we have uh, Spectre 007 James Bond Day of the Dead Mask Limited Edition Prop Replica. 169 of 500 pieces and it has the factory entertainment logo uh, and then in the kind of actual bottom uh, kind of base of the the stand here uh, you've got a couple of kind of bits here it's simple again just saying spectre um, you can go into the website factory entertainment a lot of the trademark stuff that uh, that you typically will have uh, for them so that's the kind of stand you have there and as it says this is the the really amazing looking mask uh, that you have here, it's really nicely designed, um, as I says, I'm going to say it right now, uh, the weight is pretty, it's a good bit of weight, I gave it a try, um, of, of course I was going to try it on, and it was weird when you move your head, you really feel it moving <laughs> almost very much like after it, it was, it was quite bizarre, but um, would I wear it as a Halloween costume, who knows, I don't know if I would dare to take this out um but actually in the bottom you have a little bit of kind of the mouth can actually a little bit kind of move a little bit um i don't know if it's suggesting if you moved your mouth it kind of goes with it I, I don't know i did try it on but i never really got that feeling uh so yeah so i'll just put that back there don't fall uh so with this you do also get a little booklet as well you have here at the back you kind of see the spectre uh mask there looking um Great, I keep going that Spectre mask, it's from the movie Spectre, it wasn't obviously, it was just a Day of the Dead mask, but, uh, so you have that there, and in the front, uh, shock horror, it's the 007 logo we have there, and inside there's some nice kind of wee bit of details, it kind of tells you how to actually, uh, kind of put together the, you know, step by step of how to put together the, the overall stand, and then how to put the mask on, uh, and kind of such like that, kind of giving you little cautions and how to keep clean and, and such like uh, and one side it has it really quite nice we're just kind of talking about the actual kind of prop and all that and uh, it's quite nice like you know got a bit of detail there if you're interested in reading talking about the actual original prop and then talking about the re replica that was made by uh, Factory Entertainment so some really nice kind of uh, stuff if, if you're really interested in that uh, so uh, that's kind of really overall it really to be honest it's not really kind of much else is to say really to be honest so that's obviously the, the, the gist of how much you kind of get it's up to yourself if you want to keep that kind of big box I, I wouldn't personally but uh, but uh, so like what I like to normally kind of do in my reviews I'll kind of say you know should you kind of you know get this said product uh, my personal belief yes get this if you if you can um, it's I mean don't get me wrong it's only 500 um, so there's not there isn't many um, left. Uh, I won't lie, I did manage to get this on eBay, um, so I did get it a little bit cheaper, because um, I will admit it is it's a very expensive one, I think it's like 380 or something like that. Um, it is my issue with 
being a James Bond fan, where sadly they seem to think that we have the luxury and the money as James Bond does, but uh, sadly no. Um, but uh, th this buying this was a bit of a case of I said I'm buying this, and this is like the only uh, thing I was kind of adding to the collection for this month. It was a bit of a I was having a quiet month just simply just to kind of uh, to get this. So uh, yeah, so. I think it looks great. The detail looks really good. Uh, as I says, the weight is really impressive, and it it looks it looks clean. It looks nice. It looks exactly like it does in obviously the movie. Because sometimes you get replicas, and it's like, all right, okay, you can call it a replica all you like, but um, but this looks great. The stand is sturdy. It feels solid on it. That doesn't feel like an issue whatsoever. Um, so yeah, it's 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 really good. Shall we give it a little try for the camera, shall we? Okay, right, that's going. Let's have a little uh, close-up, shall we? Okay, so now for a bit of a kind of close-up here of the mask, and I'll wear it because I'll need to take off my glasses off first. Where's it gone now? Uh, so here we go. Just pop it on. You see, if you put it round, there is straps like you just have there. They're meant to go over your ears, but they kind of don't for me because I've got a big head but there we go let's look at that oh Jesus it's really heavy actually <laughs> put it on but yeah that's there we are don't I look cool right now don't I mm. should I look cool like Daniel when he walks in the opening you know just looking here we go we're ready for it bam 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 <laughs> you can see I wouldn't really make a good James Bond but uh, there we go yeah it does fit actually quite nicely and I've got a very big head, so I think we'll just end this video here. There you go. Look at that. Uh, I'll just continue it here. Oh, this is this is a this is a unique way to finish a, a video off, isn't it? Now, so uh, you can follow me on uh, Instagram. There's there's many ones I have. Uh, God, what ones do I have now? It's um, from Scotland with love. That's one of them. 007. You've got one there, and you've also got my normal, the kind of the ginger geek. Uh, one there that's got my bone one and it's just my normal kind of one. So, well, till next time, this is Brown, Johnny Brown, licensed to thrill, sell ya. Yeah.